bless your glory. Oh, Lord. we need your glory.
your clarity now in the name of Jesus. Send your strength right now in the name of Jesus. Send your peace right now in the name of Jesus. Yeah, I know you see every tear. Oh, by any, by oh, by. I know you see every tear. I know you see all the pain, all the pain. I know you see it. I know you feel it. I know you see it. I know you feel it. But God, all I Posture our hearts to receive. Yeah, we posture our hearts to receive. We posture our hearts to receive, receive. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead of complaining, we change our posture. I know that they think that I mean them harm. He says, tell my people I know that they think that I don't care. But what they have to realize is that I'm doing this for their good. I'm not trying to hurt you. Ooh, by your day, baby. I'm not trying to hurt you. Although the things that you're experiencing might be hurtful. I'm not trying to hurt you. But I'm trying to grow you. You see, everything I do is good. Everything I am is good. I do is good and I do 
it very well. I have plans to prosper you, never ever to harm you. Lift up your head. Oh, 
He'll come in to stay. Open up your heart and let the are ending, why relationships are, are in torment, why your mind is going through what it's going through, why old things are coming back up, why old feelings are coming back up, why old thoughts and old memories that you threw away are coming back up. It's because God is trying to heal you. That is the way that your healing is going to come forth. That is the what that's the vehicle God is using for your healing to come through. So instead of blocking what's happening to you, allow God to heal you the way he wants to because there are some things that you've got to revisit there are some things that
that you've got to relive in order for the healing waters to literally flow through you, through and through from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. God wants to heal you and he is therefore trying to, but you have to allow the process. So you've got to allow the process to happen. You've got to allow God to have his way. That's why he says, let me. That's why he keeps saying, let me do it. Let me do it the way I want to do it. You don't want to go through the problems. You don't want to go through the fire. You don't want to go through your past. You don't want to go through the hurt and the anger and the pain. You don't want to talk to those people. You don't want to tell them no. You don't want to tell them yes. You don't want to be honest. You don't want to tell them the truth. You want to keep it all inside. You want it to go away. You want to lie. You want to cheat. You want to go back. But God is saying the only way in this season that you're going to be healed completely is to allow me to bring up those things. For you to go through this process the way you need to go through this process, not your will. But my will be done in the name of Jesus. You can't have it your way. You can't have your cake and eat it too in this season. You can't have your cake and eat it too in this season.
Revelation 5, 12, and 13. Saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and might and honor and glory and blessing. And I heard every creature in the heaven and on earth and under the earth and in the sea and all that is in them saying to him who sits on the throne, and the Lamb be blessing and honor and glory and might forever and ever. And so we say, everything that you do, God, is good. Everything you do, you do well. You have never, ever fallen off of your throne. You've never, ever made a mistake. You won't let us down. You've been God for a long time. And you know what you're doing. So you always get it right the first time. So we say reign Yahweh reign. Don't do anything different. Everything you allow you use. We find no fault in you. Keep reigning. Stay on your throne. For you are good and your mercy endureth forever. So I speak to you who are weary and heavy laden. That where you are is nothing short of perfect. You are where God wants you to be. And he's about to overwhelm everything that is overwhelming you. In the name of Jesus, stay poised. Stay relaxed. Your father is in control. So father, we say again, do it your way. We say do it your way
receive your wisdom. I will receive your wisdom. I will receive your guidance. Forget everything that everybody else says. Forget everything that everybody else feels. I will receive your guidance. Oh. halfway there hey, we're halfway there hey, we are halfway there ye who are weary and heavy laden hey we are halfway there keep on pushing and Keep on pursuing, keep on pushing, you are halfway there. There, 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 so, Kobayama, so, you are halfway there. Be not weary, and well doing, for you. You are halfway there. Finish it all the way through. See it all the way through. See it all the way through. You are halfway there. For I reckon woo, that the sufferings of this present time shall not be compared to the glory that will soon be revealed. You are halfway there. I'm asking of you tonight is to text about two to three people and tell them that you're halfway there. Don't give up. We're all fighting a battle that no one, none of us know. We don't know what everybody's going through. But you need to text two to three people after this is over and tell them that you are halfway there. So in their lives tonight with the word of the Lord. You're halfway there and don't you give up now. You give up now you can't 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 give up now for you are halfway there
and good for what he won't give up on you. Don't give up on God, cause he won't give up on you. No. Oh
Thank you. 